Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Locks, and welcome to Spelunky 2. I love that. I love that intro, too. <laughs> I'm really excited to play this. Um, just to give you some history of me and Spelunky, uh, I did play a bit of Spelunky off of recording, but never really made it too far. Uh, I've watched a whole bunch, though, so I'm aware of all the crazy interactions between the items and the environment and the secrets and stuff like that. I don't know everything about the original game, but I've, I've watched a fair amount. Um, and I don't know much about Spelunky 2, like I don't know what the differences are. So please refrain from telling me secrets and things like that. Let me figure them out for myself. I can always look them up if I'm curious and eventually I'll probably open it up to the community to give me a hand with it. This first episode, I'm gonna do the tutorial and I might do some runs and then we'll see how the format works out for the rest of the series. I might do like one run every day, but they're not very long usually. So probably gonna do multiple ones and maybe do the daily run and we can compare our scores if you guys are playing the game as well. For those of you that aren't familiar with Spelunky, it's a roguelike game uh, where you're trying to make it to the end, but there's a lot of secret paths. There's a lot of secret interactions. Uh, there's items you pick up that give you powers and uh, change the way you traverse through the environment. And uh, there's just, it's just different ways to like accomplish different things. And some of them could be really surprising. So there's this whole like, probably gonna be this whole rush to figure out all the secrets in the game uh, with this new one. Uh, so without further ado, I don't think I have much else to say. Let's, let's start Spelunky 2. Oh, yeah, uh, I'm going to do the tutorial, but I'll put a link in the comment section and in the description if you want to just jump forward to my first run, if you already know how the game works. But I figured if you're new to the series, it'd be good to see the tutorial just to just understand how the game works. So adventure it is. And I'm just going to start with the, uh, the, the new default adventure, Anna or Anna. It's probably Anna, right? Just with just the one N. I got goosebumps. Goose for lucky. It's such a cute game. So this is we're dropped into. I think this is the same cave as the first one, right? Let's pick this up. Wow, it's been 15 years since my last entry. So much has happened since I escaped the cave of Olmec with his treasure. Tina and I became parents. We named our daughter Anna. She's a strong kid and a natural explorer. So maybe we're after our dad, who was the the first spelunkyer, the first the first explorer. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. It's like the outline of a door. Ooh, secrets already? Here we are. Porcupine. So it's telling me that I can jump onto the corners. Puppy! I'm using the uh, the D-pad and so the analog stick. I don't know if that's the right thing to do. Let me know what you, how you guys play normally. You can see in the top left, we've got hearts which is like our lives, so the number of hits we can take. There's bombs and there's ropes. And then we've got money in the top right. So I guess that's the same so far. The dreams began when Anna turned five. In the dream, I'd look out the window at the full moon and see Olmec's face in it. I tried to ignore it. I mean, we all saw Olmec sink into the lake of lava, didn't we? Olmec is the like the final boss. Uh, if you don't take the, the hell path. Okay. How does... Oh, okay. Do I have to turn around? Oh, down. Oh, I didn't even know that's how that worked. I think I'd always fall... Fall over. Okay. Down an X. Uh, we can whip. Perfect. I'm gonna carry this through because... To me, it seems like there might be some kind of secret. Got some cash. And we can throw items. It's gonna teach us about pushing the block. Aw, oh, puppy. Uh, okay. Our curiosity was too much to resist. 
With Colin's help, Tina and I built a spaceship that could take us to the moon. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anna wants to come, but it feels a little dangerous, and I think she should stay and finish out the school year. Besides, we should be back before she knows it. There's probably nothing there anyway. Are we on the moon? Is this on the moon? Oh yeah, I've got it set to run by default. So when I hold down, I think that's the way the game is. When I hold down R2, it actually makes me walk. Why would you want to walk though? Wait, what's that? Press options to access the options menu and change your control scheme. Okay, we got some bombs. Down and, and circle, toss the bomb. I think if I just hit circle, it, it throws the bomb, right? As you can see, I haven't played a lot of the original. It was hard to say goodbye. Part of me wishes we'd brought Anna with us. She loves space, and we keep wanting to show her things in the ship. I think I'm pronouncing Anna differently every time. At least she, she has Monty to keep her company. That's the name of the doggy, Monty? I never knew that. Maybe they never said the name. I don't have any ropes. Eh? Is this gonna, oh, this is gonna give me a rope. So it's triangle. Oh, look, it's little Monty at the top. That's cute. Just teaching us how to jump across. And I think you can just, yeah, you can run across these. If you're walking though, you'll fall. So that could be a reason why you might want to walk. Oh. Yeah, okay. I was gonna I was gonna say if I hit circle, does it drop these? But you just you just duck and hit square. Can't you look down? Yeah. Hmm, now hold on a second. I don't want to put out my torch. There's definitely a secret bringing that torch through. Shit. It's unbelievable. There's a giant Olmec on the surface of the moon and a cave. A feeling of deja vu swept over us and we were drawn toward the entrance like iron filings to a magnet. A voice is calling to us. Is it Olmec or something else? That's what you do with a sequel, right? You put it in space. Well, oh, oh, you could jump off the water? Or am I falling in and jumping out? I can't tell. I guess I'm falling in and then jumping out. Ooh, look at the physics. The water looks cool. Let me, let me keep this. Maybe I can relight it. Ah, there's like little levels inside of levels. Oh, I see, that's what the outline means. It means you're going, oh, there we go, perfect. It means you're going into the, into the camera. Makes sense. Oh wait, we're just going, we're going back. We've been in the moon for what feels like many months already but it's hard to tell. Just like before, time and death work differently here. It feels like we slipped into another crack in the universe, like the cave of Olmec, connected to it perhaps, but also bigger, much bigger. Okay. We got the journal. Anna, if you're reading this, then you've probably, Oh, that was a key. You've probably guessed that mom and dad are somewhere down below trying to find a way out. I'm sorry. We should have brought you with us. But try not to worry. To be honest, we're having fun. Take your time and don't rush. Remember, it's easier to get hurt if you're not careful. That is true. You, like, things will turn bad really quickly in this. 
Just remember what we taught you and you'll be fine. This journal is yours now. Make the most of it and we'll see you soon. Happy spelunking. Oh, you know, it would be fun if you guys in the comment section try to predict how I'm going to die. What am I going to die to? <laughs> Maybe it might be hard on the first one because you're not familiar with what I could possibly die to. But uh, it would be it would be great to like keep track of like who is the most accurate predictor of my of my deaths. <laughs> I guess that's kind of hard to do though, because you could just watch the video, and then and then and then write it in. So I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how we're gonna manage that. Can I pet you? Can I pick you up? <laughs> you can toss. Yes, you can toss them. I don't want to whip you. Hey, we got it. All right, let's go in. This is it. Spelunky 2. Oh, no. Well, I don't think I... So we start with four ropes and four bombs. I don't think I want to use a rope to get up there. Oh. If I can go down. I was like, do I have to use a rope? There's some skeletons over there. You know what? Oh, shit. How do I toss it up? There we go. I'm learning, okay? Okay. I didn't even see <laughs> I didn't even see the spikes. <laughs> well, if you wrote impaled on spikes as the first death, you are correct. Quick restart. Let's do some more. Maybe what I'll do is I'll like I'll make the videos. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe I'll make the videos like a half an hour or something, and that way you'll you'll never know how long it lasted. <laughs> if I made it, to, oh, there's a totem there. I could bomb this. Five shekels. Oh, journal entry added. Right, bear trap. Quillback built these to train his followers, although they mostly serve to put them to sleep. Okay. So this this keeps track of all the stuff that we've seen. Spikes. Ah, spikes, the classic trap. They come in many shapes and sizes, all painful. So if we see the bones, that means that there's spikes coming. People. Ah, Anna Spelunky. She's come to the moon to find her mom and dad, an easygoing young lady with the heart of a hero. Oh, Margaret Tunnel. Is that the tunnel guy's wife or something? A fascination with the ocean led her away from the family business. Her dream is to buy her own pirate ship. Cool. I remember there's like a tunnel guy, right? The original. Colin Northward, an inquisitive artist and engineer who's obsessed with Olmec and the curse of the caves. Rafi D. Sloth. He has a lot of deep thoughts, but not a lot that he wants to say out loud. Bunch of new characters. Ah, and we can review the story. Cool. I think I'm going to be reading those entries. I think it'll be fun to, to go through that. Oh, oh. Oh, that's the trap. OK, I was like, how is that a trap? <laughs> a totem trap punched my lights out. OK, well, here we go. Next run. This is looking similar to the first one. Ooh, our first enemy. Be careful, it's liable to throw a hissy fit. So you can also, uh, Mario style. You can, uh, you can land on the snakes. Much larger than the household variety. Don't let it get the drop on you. So those are spiders. Okay, I don't think I can fall down there. So we're not we're not going to. Cuz uh, I'm going to hit the spikes there. 
Do those guys? Oh, I don't think those guys hurt me. Hey, it's our buddy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. So if we, I, I assume this is gonna work in the same way. Monty, a helpless pug adopted by Tina Flan after her first big adventure on a somewhat faithful companion. So in the first game, you can bring Monty to the end and you get an extra heart. Oh shoot, I didn't even notice. Oh, I got hurt there. Wait, there's something, there's something in the ground. Ooh. Get back! Okay, okay, we're good. Shit. Yes! Good job, Monty! There's bats, a common cave resident that nonetheless thinks very highly of itself due to its cute appearance. Get back here, Monty! I want to get this. Actually, let's put Monty down here. He'll, he'll just like chill out. Compass. Okay, the compass points you to the exit, which I see right down there. Are we going to actually make it through our first level? That looks like another exit. gonna bomb that because I'm curious oh oh no 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 no! I didn't see that that goes over to there okay I dropped the bomb and then I saw that entrance oh well get up Let's go, Monty. Okay, they don't hurt. Oh, that's. Oh, you gotta knock them over as you run by. And those are the arrow shooting things. Uh, right there. Oh shit. Oh, it died. Okay. Um, if you take too long. Oh, shit. The ghost comes. Oh god. I think I'm dead. Hmm, this might be harder than I thought. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so that was a spinning snake. I mean, I was reading a lot of stuff. That's why it took me so long, right? It's not because I suck. Okay. Okay, I can't push that from there. I think you can... Yeah. As long as you don't drop into the spikes, you're fine. It's worth. I think it's worth it to grab that. Because it could be more bombs. Yes. We get three. I'm not going to read stuff. I got to at least make it through the first level. Hey, puppy. Wait, what? 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 Wait, why is there a ghost this time? Angry and relentless spirit chases down explorers for reasons unknown. But the ghost is supposed to come if I'm taking too long. Maybe I did something? Did I do something to anger the ghost? I guess they changed that. Maybe if I destroy enough... Maybe when I destroy these? Mm. Okay, so... That works the same. The arrow trap is triggered if you like throw something in front of it. So that's why it's good to carry a stone with you. I, I guess it's because I'm destroying pottery again. It's not doing anything. Oops.
Oh. Oh! <laughs> I want that chess. Ow! Okay, let's go back up this way. Grab this. We already set that one off. Oh, it's that one. That pot. That pot triggers the ghost. Okay, we're learning. Gotta always be looking ahead. And honestly, sometimes behind. Wait, did I hear Milton? I think Milton's in the bottom. Oh, there's Milton. Okay. I should be able to... Let's, let's just go to the right here. There's the exit. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Scarab. A jeweled flying beetle revered by the followers of Anubis and sought after by leprechauns and treasure hunters. I can't remember how when the when the ghost actually shows up. Is it three minutes? Oh god. It must be three minutes. Maybe I should just bomb. Them. Oh fuck! I was gonna bomb the, the gopher dude. Oh, shit. Okay, I think I might actually make it through the first level. I like these little things. That's a di that's that's different from the original game. Yes! One one completed! Three minutes. All the loot. 9,500. Go to the next level. Let's do it. Oh, shit. Okay, I've got one heart left. Wait. Yeah, I did. I Did I have one heart? I didn't even see. Did Milton give me a heart? Okay, who's that? Uh, I'm assuming that's a new character. Oh, I can whip these. Good to know. Who's that dude? Why is there a chicken? Hmm. I'm looking for turkeys. Want to help? Sh sure. This is the furthest I've ever got. It. I meant to whip the tur- Oh, we're supposed to bring him, bring him. We're supposed to bring turkeys to there. Okay, okay. Oh shit, <laughs> every fucking time. Is it, I'm, I'm getting the impression those are more dangerous to, to break than the previous game. I should laugh. <laughs> those traps, those traps are so adorable. Scary and adorable. Those are like sp uh, spikes in the previous game. Same idea though. Okay, you're sleeping. Oh, he's angry. Punch him. <laughs> Did he just... I like how they go smiley. After a bit. Oh shit. That was dumb. No, that was dumb. Okay, let's restart. Let's restart. <laughs> okay, hold on. Is it gonna be. Okay, this time we're good. There's the ghost. There's the ghost thing. Why would I wanna go over there?
Oh, I'm having a blast already. It's down there. Boop. No spikes. So can you... It seems harder to kill these guys, I, although I never really kept track. Maybe, maybe bopping on them and hitting them with the whip only stuns them? Kills those guys. Ah, a sturdy pair of boots with sharp spikes fitted to the bottom. That does extra damage to enemies when you stomp on them, I believe. Oh, there, I was going to say, why would I want to go in that other one? But there could be things in the in the little side caves. Eh? Can we look up too? Yeah. Enemy? No. I guess it would be smarter to like pick those pick those up and toss them instead of whipping them. Hey, there's our boy. Oops. <laughs> I was not trying to whip him, okay? Oh man. Get him milk! No! Okay. Yes! Ooh. Oh no! I didn't even see that. Now what is the deal with this dude? I don't need to go over there. Oh, he's got a rock. They pick up the rocks. Yeah, we get a lit cart. Adorable. Okay. I need to toss something down there. You can use a bomb or you can use your ropes. So I guess in this case, we'll use the rope. It's kind of cool that they kept some stuff the same. Like it's that they didn't like, it doesn't feel like they've overdone the changes. Oh, here's our shopkeeper. Oh, wait, what? There's an enemy there? Willie's clothing shop. Oh, what? He just, sh <laughs> he tried to shoot the enemy and shot me. <laughs> All right, one more. And then I think I'll do I'll do a daily challenge. Look at that sexy sexy sleeping pose. Um, uh, let me get this stuff. This is probably gonna be a mistake, right? Because I'm gonna fall on the spikes. Oh, I thought it was going to trigger that. Oh, no. Do I have something else to trigger that with? Can I pick you up? Okay, I'll use a rope. Okay. Seems... All oh, right, I could just jump down. and then just walk along here. I don't see any reason to go that way though. Let's, just, let's drop down. Yeah, okay, so that guy, when you get into his path, he'll like kind of jump at you. Jump! Oh, jump man. There we go. Oh, another one. Jump! Okay, well, that's going to be my set of runs. A half an hour. I like this idea, so I'll do a half an hour. And then um, we'll do a daily run to end, end it off. I assume... Turn to camp. Well, I could talk to them. I can't believe we're actually here. I 
could talk to the other characters. You did a good job with that spaceship. What? what? Oh, <laughs> we because of the spaceship, we built a spaceship for everyone. Uh, sorry, I only got 10 hours of sleep last night. What's all this stuff? Bedrooms. Huh. That's cool that you can interact with all the characters. There's probably going to be more to that. How do I do a daily run? There's got to be some way to get through the dirt here, right? Is this just back to the tutorial? Is there a daily run? This goes back into the game. Play. Ah, daily challenge. Try today's daily challenge. You only get one shot. So this is the kind of thing if you, I don't know if there's like a way to like, hmm, maybe if what I could do is if you guys record your daily challenge. Oh, you guys can add me as friends. I'm on PS4. Maybe I could link my uh, my friend profile or something. I'll, I'll take a look afterwards if there's any way that we can uh, friend each other so we can see each other's um, daily challenges. So I could check the previous days at the beginning of, of each recording or something like that. Data to ensure integrity and authenticity of the run will be made public. Okay. Interesting. Go with Anna. So all of these runs should be the same for everybody. And I, I believe the original, in the original one, score was, score is based on how much loot you got. Not progress. So I don't know how it's gonna work in this. Glad I threw that. So the question is, well, that was definitely a waste. Forget it. <laughs> the question is, should I use a rope to get that just for the score? The answer is, turns out to be no. The ghost thing. I bet you if you carry the ghost pot to some place, that's going to be some uh, secret, right? Shit. My timings are so bad, guys. Oh, I hear the puppy. Oh, you're up there. Let's do it. Probably not. Oh, shit. This is not worth it. Oh, man. <laughs> what if I don't run? Sorry, buddy. I could use the heart, but... I want to get some more money. Oh, shit. Death. All right. Well, that's the daily run, and this is going to be my first video of Spelunky 2. I'm going to do this every day. We'll do a half an hour, and then I'll do the daily run. Unless my run happens to go longer than a half an hour. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I clearly have a lot of work to do. Uh, I suck at the game, but uh, we'll get better, everybody. If you did enjoy the video, I only ask on the first video of a new series to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy it. It helps other people to find my channel, and also it helps you to get notified of new videos. Um, 
so looking forward to playing a bunch of this game. Uh, I love I love doing these these things daily. I, I did it with uh, Noita, which is a similar game, and I just love the art style. I love uh, all the little secrets you can find in this game. It's going to be super fun. This is Luckless Love Lock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one, and I love you all.